Hey, what's up you guys? And welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host, Jacob McDonald. Today we're looking at DeForest Buckner. He's number 27 on the list. And believe it or not, my favourite number is 27. Whenever I see a player on the field wearing 27, piques my interest. And whenever I see a player listed as the 27th best player in the league, then that piques it even more. This guy's name is DeForest Buckner. And as we have a look at him here, I'm not sure if that's Buckner or Curtis Blades from the UFC. They're probably about the same size. Anyway, all of that and more will be revealed. It's time we roll the intro and crack into it. All right. It's coming. I'm hitting his ass. I'm tired of these damn quarterback hits. I need to give me a sack. Damn, bro. And he got one. Well, call it half a sack. Let's go, man. I'm sure he enjoyed playing against the Bengals. And with a wingspan that looks as wide as that, it's no surprise he can get to the quarterback with ease. Look at the arms on the man. When you look at DeForest Buckner, it's really another guy who not only meets the play test, but the eye test. Andrew Whitworth talking about the good old eye test. It worked on me. He met my eye test, I'll tell you that. In 2020, DeForest Buckner set the cold single season record for sacks by a defensive tackle with nine and a half. What? DeForest Buckner, man, he's a boss. Buckner set the cold single season record for sacks by a defensive tackle with nine and a half. DeForest Buckner, man, he's a... How's a defensive tackle getting through there like that? It's usually the defensive ends, right? They can get around the outside, possibly swipe through and get on the inside. But as far as a, as far as a tackle is concerned, there's a lot of traffic in there. There's a hell of a lot of traffic. About six eight, about three hundred pounds, and he's very athletic. What? Six eight? All right, let's look at his stats. Six foot seven. He is a two meter human. Two meters and one. Two ninety five um, pounds. 134 by way of kg uh pick number seven of the first round of the 2016 draft played at oregon he is indeed six foot seven flat almost 300 pounds he's got an arm length of almost 35 inches and a hand size which is officially the biggest i've ever ever seen listed on wikipedia it's 11 and three quarters of an inch he's from hawaii originally went to punaho school punaho punaho punahau Punai, Punaho, Punaho, Punahu, Punahu. I'm going to call it Punahu School. And if that's right or wrong, let me know down in the comment section below. He runs a 40 yard dash around about five seconds. He's got a vertical jump of 32 inches, which means he's 360 dunking that shit, and a broad jump of nine foot eight. That is one big human, and really the only other defensive lineman that comes to mind at that size is Kalei Campbell. So prior to the start of the season, he signed a four-year, $84 million contract, making him the second highest paid defensive tackle in the league. Went out there, played 15 games uh, in the regular season, plus one in the postseason. 60 total tackles, 39 solo, 21 assisted, 9.5 sacks, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, and three passes deflected, which brings his totals in five years to 78 games, 321 total tackles, 38 total sacks, five forced fumbles, eight fumble recoveries, Two dust and, a in a and 14 passes deflected. He is married to Ashlyn Buckner. They have one son and he's a Christian, but he was only baptized last year. So is that what they call a born again Christian? Colts DeForest Buckner gets baptized. And I quote, today I surrendered my whole self to Jesus. Right, I'm going to leave it there and we're going to continue the video. Lady. Another great play by Buckner. Great play by Buckner. It's pretty amazing to see a guy that size, really, with that athleticism. I want to look up the biggest hands in NFL history. He's got to be up there, man. 
Has to be. It's extremely rare for even an NFL player to have a hand span of 11 inches or wider. Yes, it is. The largest hand measurement in combine history is 11.75 inches, and the record is shared by DeForest Buckner, Gosda Chirillis, and Mo Ali Cox. The average male's hand span is around 8.5 inches. So at 11.75 inches, DeForest Buckner's hand span is over three inches wider than your average. All right, there's really only one question to settle this. Shaquille O'Neal's hand span. Brace yourselves. I've never actually looked this up, but what I do remember in high school, I had a basketball. It must have been a Lakers one with Shaq's handprint around it. And it almost reached around half the entire basketball. Guys, oh my goodness. What is this? What is this? All right, what is Shaquille O'Neal's hand span? Shaq's hand length seems to be at most half an inch longer than Kawhi's. Their hand spans also like they don't look like they don't differ by more than three quarters of an inch. It's therefore safe to say Shaq's hand length is in the range of 10 to 10.25 inches and his hand span is in the range of 11.75 to 12 inch. Shaquille O'Neal and DeForest Buckner have the same hand span. That's unbelievable. But you best believe it. Look, I knew it was big. I didn't know it was that big. But in saying that, if Buckner did make the list last year, I've most probably said the exact same thing twice in a row. So don't at me. But fuck me dead. That was crazy. In his first season with the Colts, number 99 was named first team all pro. And he's the second ranked defensive tackle on the list. Wow. That's good. Deja vu. He's been all over Watson here early. I remember the play against the Vikings where he just... His arms are just so long and his hands are so big, right? So he's just, he's gonna... Fuck, he's gonna, he's gonna grip on with those fucking fingers. I'd hate to think how thick his fingers are. Grips on, he's not gonna let go, is he? Through the offensive guard like he was a little kid. And can you imagine an 11.75 inch hand clenched as a fist? Now that's gonna be something else. It's gonna be like a bowling ball. Swarm that right guard to the cleaners like that. there. That's one thing when the ends come around high, but when you get that push up the middle, it makes a uh, quarterback very uncomfortable. Exactly. That's what I referred to at the start, right? So it's one thing for the ends to come around the outside, but for someone to, to be consistently pushing through the middle, I mean, what are you going to do? If your offensive line is not up to par, you're fucked. Excuse my language. There's certain guys uh, like DeForest that you just feel across the ball from you. Just their physical presence, the push they get. Come on, let's get off the field. Let's get the rock. Let's get the rock. DeForest Buckner caused the fumble. Buckner got it. Every How on earth did you do that? DeForest Buckner. No surprises. There's a hand in there. Buckner caused the fumble. Buckner got it. Every time you need a play, he makes it. DeForest Buckner recovered the football. There's no such thing as one-on-one -on -one block to him. With him on the field, the Colts give up three yards per carry. When he's off the field, it's over. Look at this. With him on. Look at that. That is, that is a long the arm. Field, the Colts give up. Look at this. There's no such thing as one-on-one -on -one block to him. Look at this With extension. Look at that, bro. Now, what makes Buckner dominant in this particular moment is that he's got that slight edge as far as arm length, right, and hand size, which means that. He's on the inside of the arm. He's, he's around the chest area, whereas his opposite man has only been able to grab onto the back of his shoulder. So what that means is that Buckner has the inside. He's got the upper hand, literally. He's got the inside. And all he needs to do is keep that arm outstretched, keep a wee bit of distance between him and 68, and he's got it over him. The field, the Colts give up three yards per carry. When he's off the field, it's over five yards per carry. Guards that lunge at him. He almost, you know, like Houdini's him and jumps around him or pulls himself through. Nobody can actually stay in front of him and block him for four seconds for him not to get to the quarterback. DeForest Buckner came with that initial pressure. The officials, they have their arms up to signal a safety. What a weapon. Come on, let's end it, finish it. Let's finish it. Now he's really starting to use physicalness in his game, using his long arms, using that ability to make plays in the run game as well as the pass. And you see why he's in a new elite defender in this league. Buckner has been tremendous all day. <laughs> i got to say, you love to see a guy that size with a smile all day. that big. 
<laughs> Tell you what, man. You think DeForest Buckner's big? Who the hell is that sitting next to him? Wowee, the Colts have certainly got some linemen, don't they? And with that in mind, it's time we crack into the next video. It's a running back. His name's Nick Chubb. Actually, no. That's a lie. It's Bradley Chubb. Nick Chubb's his cousin. So he's a running back for the Browns. He wears number 26, and that should be a winner. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed that one. It's always good when you find like a real, re like a, like a, you know, a crazy stat or a crazy record, something that you just didn't expect for a certain player, and something like really springs out at you, like that hand size. I mean, I guess that just happens when you're reading so many Wikipedia pages. So anyways, hope you enjoyed, like I said. Uh, head down into the description box below to check out today's exclusive video sponsor. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.